<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and we are going to look at some, uh, we're going to look at some Land Rovers. Yes. And uh, if you haven't noticed, it's going to be some Corgi Land Rovers. Um, boy, uh, I'm really kind of in the throws here. I don't know. Corgi usually has some uh, pretty good um, informational stuff on uh, YouTube uh, or uh, on the Google or whatnot. I'm just kind of looking at this one. I, I think that this is an original one that was in the package. Oh, I suppose we should get it in, uh, in the picture frame here. I think this one is uh, original in the package. I'm not quite sure. Um, so hopefully some of you guys across the pond can uh, help me out. This is well worn, beaten, and battered. Um, it, it does match the Land Rover Fire, which is emergency fire unpunched card. Uh, although <laughs> it's a pretty beat up shape. This one here, I did figure out that this is not uh, original. Um, they kind of put this in this packaging. I think somehow I figured that out. I don't know. It's stapled and I, I don't know if that's uh, really correct or not. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was, it was, it's kind of open there, but anyway, um, yeah, another one here. Um, there is not now I, I talk about, um, uh, a company or a, a club, actually what it is, uh, in the, uh, uh, Bay Area, if I can find the card here while I'm yelling in your ear, uh, BAMCA.org. Now that's the Bay Area Matchbox Club Association. They're over in the East Coast. I, I want to say Massachusetts. So anyway, the story is these guys have a great database for Matchbox. You can, uh, you know, find anything and everything you want for that. Uh, Hot Wheels, uh, they've got several books out about Hot Wheels. Corgi, um, the uh, number 742, I'm just kind of pulling that out of the air. But there's a lot of Corgis, the larger ones, uh, the 143rd scales, uh, gift sets and stuff like that. They've got pretty much, you can uh, find that. This one here, I cannot really find a uh, database where I can kind of put these in uh, some kind of chronicle order, you know, and... Uh, so, yeah, it's just, sorry, but for us here in the States, it's kind of a hit and miss. Um, now, <laughs> Corgi did uh, get bought out by Hot Wheels, and uh, this is the um, the end of uh, Corgi, this Corgi life. Uh, and this is one of my crummy uh, examples. Uh, the Smith Electric only came in this liberty, livery, uh, so that's pretty easy to... Uh, <laughs> to uh, figure out in the Hot Wheels. Uh, so anyway, so he'll, the, uh, the great grandson, he'll sit back there. Anyway, the last unboxing video I had, I, I got this bugger here, the Fire Salvage. Um, and I, I got this car, it's beautifully done. Uh, it's a beautiful condition and I found out while I was unboxing that this was uh, customized. Headlights, turn signals, ter um, Marker lights, I was wondering if this was a custom, uh, but it's, uh, Fire Salvage is a for real, um, real thing there from Corgi. And then too, they did some customizing on the back, which is really, really cool. They did a fine job on that uh, license plate. So yeah, and they all say that uh, license plate. Matter of fact, even the, um, the Hot Wheels, the new Hot Wheels uh, had that same should probably try to show you that so you you know I'm for real. RGW404. And so anyway, they did a really good job of um, d detailing that on, on this one here. So this is my latest one. Matter of fact, this is all the Corgis I, I have of, of this model. Um, so really kind of cool. I like that one. You, you saw that one there. Um, this one was kind of customized as well. This is the emergency fire with the same, uh, four, uh, pie sliced wheels. I don't know. <laughs> 
but it had an added um, white roof to it, so pretty cool there. Um, now, as you notice in that box one, there was the um, like whiz wheels, and these do not say um, Corgi whiz wheels. Matter of fact, this one here doesn't even say Corgi at all on it. Um, but uh, yeah, just usually they're just a big old fat Corgi on there. But uh, they kind of robbed some whiz wheels ones, the the wrecker. Uh, now, even the Wrecker has some uh, database, uh, database that you can go ahead and look at. But, uh, man, if you know anywhere where I could go and look these up and kind of give you a chronological order um, on how these uh, kind of fit in to uh, order, that would be awesome. So um, well, let's look at this one here right away before we get into the, the Blue Man group there. This was another one. This is uh, one of my nicest ones that I ever had uh, till uh, that new red one came out. But this is the Safari Rally BP number 65. Very, very nice. Must have bought that in person, I think. Yeah. But this is another one that has no markings on the bottom. Uh, and it's got the four sliced pie wheels there. But uh, very, very cool. So I'm going to sneak him in here. Uh, cause these obviously are of the same era. I would think, I would think, I would think, um, here we go again. These here are, uh, also, yeah, that's got Corgi on it too. This is another nice one, a little dirty. This is actually a pretty nice one too. Um, same, uh, kind of construction, $7 for that one. Uh, I think that's about what I paid for that one there. Um, with the shipping included, uh, ducks for, uh, ducksam, ducksam, uh, now this was the try the four slice pie wheel. <laughs> I just dubbed that there. I don't know where that goes, but uh, very, very nice one. Here's another one with the four wheels, uh, four pie sliced wheels. Uh, very, very nice. Actually, uh, this one, I think I, uh, yeah, I took this one apart. Yeah, but uh, very kind of cool. Just a uh, very heavy, very heavy, uh, solid uh, die cast body there. Uh, very awesome. A single small little uh, windscreen that just kind of fits in there. And then uh, small, small, small um, interior that, uh, well, it's a, it's a right hooker and uh, just a bench seat and then that has those little bogey posts there and those hook onto the rear seat like that or i mean the rear uh, the uh, glass yep so it fits right in there if i can get it going there you go so that fits right in there like that and then the uh, wheels have just a single uh bent over uh to hold the axles there try to get that in focus oh the front the front has two and the rear has one. There you go. A couple of pegs to uh, line it up. Pegs on the side and one in the middle there by the rivet. And uh, yeah, it just snaps on there to, to rivet construction. So yeah, I had taken that one apart. Um, yeah, it's pretty beat up, but then it's got the blue marker all over it too. They were kind of doing some customizing there. You can see it there kind of blue as I reflect it there so that's kind of cool and then this one is the uh, like the uh, one in the package there it's got what i think these are the later wheels um for corgi these are uh um from what i i can kind of guesstimate or find out uh, but this is still the race support for duckham's uh racing team so really kind of cool really kind of cool um uh, I, I really kind of like those. Those are really cool. I, I wish I could get more. Um, and then too, you know, the, uh, Hot Wheels, that was, uh, taken apart too. But, the uh, still, that, that came with the standard five-spoke, uh, Hot Wheels wheels on it. So, very kind of cool. They, they could never make another one like this again. That is just way too much metal. So, hey, there you go. This is my newest, latest addition, uh, to my Corgi... Defender 110 vans, uh, I don't know really. They don't have a model number to them. I, like I say, if you guys have any information, uh, let me know down below. But while you're down there, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
uh, hit the notification button that's over there. Then go over to Facebook to the Roverland Facebook page and uh, be a member over there. And uh, yeah, Instagram, Roverland channel. Alrighty, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys had an uh, interesting uh, look at the Corgi. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> 164 scale Corgi. All right. All right, this is your friend Dan O saying adios. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.